Lesson 8 Maze Game using Game Maker Studio. Learning Targets The main objective of this lesson is I can create a maze game in Game Maker Studio. In order to create a maze game, I will have to use the keyboard keys to control my player. So I can use a keyboard for controlling a game character. My game character here is going to be this blue rectangle box and I can use my keys left, right, up, down to move around. I can collect objects. My objects here is the diamonds. So as I'm using my keys to move up, down, left, right, I will have to collect the objects. I can create horizontal moving enemy. I want the black ghost to move horizontally and the black ghost can move right, left. I can create vertical moving enemy. I have the pink ghost in here and I want the ghost to move up and down vertically. And also I can display messages. I can display message. So if the player is eaten by the ghost, a message should pop up saying you have been eaten by the ghost, restart the game and it will restart the level and as you see I have my instructions button here already if I click on it I can read the instructions on how to play this game so let's see how to work on this this is my lesson 8 maze game project and as you can see uh, in my resource tree I have my sprites already I have my objects already and I have my room already so I'm not going to show you how to create sprites, create objects, create rooms because I've shown that to you in my previous lessons. So let's focus on the learning targets for the day. So I'm going to take a look at my room. I have my room already with my instructions button. I have my player that is the blue rectangle box. I have the walls. I have my black ghost which will move left and right. I have my pink ghost that will move up and down as the player moves forward I need to collect these diamonds so let's first work on the mechanics of a player so I'm going to open up my player object and the first thing I want to do is add an event now I want to use my keyboard and I want to create a left event right event up event down event so I'm going to select keyboard and I'm going to select left so what happens if I press left? So I want my player to move left. So I'm, so I'm going to go to my move actions icons and I'm going to drag and drop the first one that's move fixed and drop it in my actions panel. And then in here, I'm going to select the left arrow for the left direction and I'm going to give a speed. I'm going to give the speed of five. Press okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing for right. So I'm going to add event, keyboard, right, and again, move fixed. And then I'm going to select the right arrow and I'm going to give the same speed in here, five, and press OK. Then press OK. Now, let, now let's do a quick check and test our game by clicking on this play button and see if the player, if my player's left and right keys are working or not. I'm going to click play and I'm going to use my left and right arrow keys. Now if you see when I press left or right it is moving fast and it's moving too much or forward. One key, one right arrow is making a big move. So I want to fix that. I want to fix that if I don't press my right key nothing should happen. That means the player should stop. It should move only when I press my key. So let's fix this problem. So again, I'm going to go to my object player and I'm going to add another event in here. And I'm going to say keyboard event. And here I'm going to select no key. Now I need to put an action to no key event. Now, so what happens? when a key is not pressed. 
So I'm going to drag and drop move fixed. And if you see on the directions here, the centermost one that looks like a stop button, I'm going to click on this. And my speed, I'm going to set it as zero and press OK. So this will make the player stop if there is no key pressed and click OK. Now again let's test and see if that works. I'm clicking right, it works. It's just moving one step at a time because as soon as I release my right key, the player stops with the event no key event. I'm clicking left and the player is moving left. So our player's mechanics for left and right works correctly. Let's go ahead and add our up and down. So keyboard, up. For up, we'll do the same thing. I'm going to drag the move action move fixed and drop it here. And I'm going to select up. And I'm going to keep the same speed as 5. Press OK. And for the down event, add event, down, move fixed. I'm going to select down and I'm going to keep the speed as 5. Quick check. So let's test it and see if it works correctly. This is my up movement, this is my down movement, this is my right movement, this is my left movement. So the mechanics for the player is all working, good to go. Now let's work on the next. That means if the player hits the wall, it should stop. So in the next part, I'm going to make sure that if the player hits the wall, it should stop the movement. So again, I'm going to go to Object Player, and I'm going to click on Add Event, and I'm going to select Collision, and if it is colliding the wall, what should happen? Again, I'm going to say it should stop its movement. So I'm going to say Move Fixed, and select the second one, and make sure the speed is 0 and press OK. Now we want to do is if the player is colliding with the diamond, it's collecting the diamonds. Collecting the diamonds means this disappears. That means basically I will destroy that instance. I'm going to go to my diamond object and I'm going to add collision event. I'm going to select collision and if uh, it's colliding with the player, then I want to destroy my instance. So I'm going to go to main one and I'm going to drag and drop destroy instance that looks like a recycle bin and I'm going to press OK and I'm going to press OK. Again test. Now let's test the game to see if my player collects the objects. So I'm going to click play and I'm going to move using the keys. I am able to collect the diamonds.